here. Uh, nobody even knew that it had you but you. I mean, you come to church every Sunday, look at your best, smiling, speaking to everybody, hugging everybody, loving everybody, helping everybody, and encouraging everybody, and yet here it is. Your heart is broken. You, you're about to lose your own man. And you say to yourself, if I could just get to the house of God, because can't nobody get me through this. But, but, but God, I mean, you'd have been hell to hell and back to you. It seems like you get out of one thing, here's, here's something else waiting on you. You get out of that, here's something else waiting on you. Get out of that, here's something else waiting on you. Get out of that, here's something else waiting on you. But see, out of nowhere, God just bring you. Yeah. Seems like you get one, one shut up notice. Take care, pick up another shut up notice. I ain't the only one here. No. <laughs> That, that God stepped in and worked that thing out. You didn't do it by yourself. If you don't mind, tell your neighbor, you didn't do it by yourself. You, you see, God is a deliverer. It, it, it is good to see the delivering power of Almighty God. Did anybody in here need to be delivered from something? Oh, yeah. hey, I'm gonna help you out. Don't talk on nothing, but leave everybody else alone. Yeah. 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 Some folk in here need to be delivered in the worst way, but they still be messing everybody else's home up, everybody else's house up, everybody else's relationship, everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, when, when, when I really want to be delivered, I'm not focused on what what you're doing. Eh? Ain't fun. whether you speak to me or not, whether you help me or not. Go ahead. I've been sorrow and sad and head bowed down, been depressed, been frustrated, been fatigued for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Now I want some joy. Yeah. And me messing you over you ain't gonna give me my joy. So I gotta go to the deliverer. Yeah. Well, you don't get me. Tell him. Say it. Yeah, you gotta be able to. Be, be able to, to, to seek the delivering power of Almighty God. To, you got to be able to look squarely in the face of, of life's most desperate uh, circumstances and say with confidence. Y'all yeah. remember what I'm talking about now. Yeah. You got to look at your situation. I don't care how bad, how nasty, how ugly, how low down, and what everybody else is saying. All of us are here to ask something. But I don't care how bad it is. You got to say to yourself and look at it. And look at them and say, God, God. it's going to get me Ooh. through this. I'm not going to be on drugs always. God, Breaks. it's going to get me through. Yeah. It may not look like it. You may not feel like it. It may not seem like it, but I know that He. I'm feeling my help. We are. Yeah. When we meet Daniel as a child in chapter one, he is faithful. Somebody say faithful. Yeah. To God. And when we see him in chapter six, that same pattern of faithfulness is still working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's still still working. Even though he is now well advanced in years, when he was living in ex with no power, no place, no, no, no preference, no privilege, no position. Uh, when he was at the bottom, mm -hmm. when folk were walking over him and on him and looking down on him, watch this. When when Daniel had nothing, broke out the joke. Mm -hmm. He still was faithful to God. Yeah. yeah. And when the sun rises on him in chapter six, after many ups and downs, setbacks and advances, disadvantage and disappointments, we discover Daniel 
still being faithful yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to park right there for a minute. Uh -huh. If there is one thing that God desires from us as a people of God, uh -huh. it is that we will be consistent, yeah. Yeah. faithful. Not periodic, not spotty, sporadic, but faithful. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we claim we say we come to church when we get ready. Mm. Yeah. yeah, come on. Amen. There's a scripture that says, forsake not the assembly of the saints. Come together. We'll make an excuse to come and, and, and get the delivery power of God. Yeah. We'll make all kinds of excuses we, why we can't sing, why we can't pray, why we can't preach. Why we can't nurse her, why we can't nurse her. Yeah. We make all these different excuses. Yeah. But yet we want God to give us favor. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, help me somebody. We want God, every time we pray, we want God to turn it around, work it out. We, we can't wait to, I'm the next in line. For what? Yeah. yeah.
Faithfulness. 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 Touch the person next to each other and wake up this place. Wake up this place. Don't look like y'all tired of me. I'm tired of y'all. Amen. Ain't no need to panic with it. They get Bobby putting on his coat. But, but look, Daniel was so faithful to God that signed a decree. If any man be caught praying to the capital G O D, he'll be thrown in the lion's den. They, they had to sign a decree and make it out of a holiday to the king. King told them, if y'all find anybody that's praying to the big guy yeah. rather than praying to me, we gonna cast him in the lion's den. Yeah. But y'all know Daniel was faithful. Mm -hmm. He kept right on praying. Yeah. Sometime when the devil put a lot of pressure on Make your situation worse than what it is. It's a good thing to know that you can always go to God in, prayer. in secret prayer. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but you don't always have to pray with your eyes closed. Because a whole lot of y'all got your eyes closed. You're really asleep. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah, but when Daniel kept on praying, and you know the devil would always send a buddy, a friend, somebody you close with your ace boom cool. And it was his friend, and he had to be the one to serve Daniel the bad news. Yeah. And the Bible says that they went and caught Daniel praying. And commanded that he be thrown in the lion's den. Yeah. And the Bible says that when his friend threw him in the lion's den, the Bible said that his friend tried to go home. Yeah. And you know that uh, when you're trying to do somebody harm, when you're trying to hurt somebody, and you know in your heart what you're doing ain't right, yeah. it'll worry you to death. Yeah, the Bible said that uh, his friend, yeah, uh, went home uh, and uh, he had uh, the pain uh, to come in his room uh, and begin to play music. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, uh, the music uh, wouldn't let him sleep, uh, wouldn't let him uh, get no rest. So the Bible said that he called in for some dancers to come and they came in but they still couldn't get no sleep. Ain't God alright? And the Bible said that the man that threw Daniel in the lion did. Yeah, the Bible said that he tossed and turned
in here? Who's looking for a church home? They don't have a place of worship. You can come right here. If you expect any prayer, come down the aisle. We'll pray with you. God is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly above all that we can ask of.